Aloha all, Jackie here, Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Thanks for joining me today and making a card using Stampin' Up! Party Puffin Stamp Set. Also using a Designer Series paper from the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. I think I did show this paper before. This is a nice hefty stack or a pack of paper. Flirty Flamingo cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Designer series paper, four by five and a quarter. Uh, white cardstock, this here is four by five and a quarter. And then we have these pieces, the Flirty Flamingos and a white cardstock, layering, circles, dies, and this white piece of cardstock five eighths by two and three eighths and we can go ahead and stamp that let's get our stamping done making a birthday card and then the puffin will go right on top the circle and then on the inside birthday cake and uh, make a wish and that's it for our stamping we're gonna get our blends and color up our candle this is yellow I mean not yellow dark daffodil delight it is a yellow <laughs> uh, green for the candle, whoa, granny apple green. Light Bermuda Bay for the icing. And the plate, red, or light real red. Uh, the paper actually coordinates with Poppy Parade, but I don't have Poppy Parade. And let's color our puffin dark pumpkin pie. And then let's do his, the circles on his party hat red. Then Bermuda Bay for the hat itself. And then Granny Apple Green at the top on his puffy. Then we can layer that onto the scallop flirty flamingo. For our base of our card, put down our top layer here, notice I'm always out of frame yeah, when I put on my glue, and I better, this is actually my second take because I made the other card. Um, actually, I made it portrait when I wanted it a landscape card. I'll show it to you at the end. Good job. Then we got to pop these up with Stampin' Dimensionals. Take off the backing. Oh, put the cardstock there. Okay, put him on around here. Take off the backing off the happy birthday. And putting him right like this. There we go, what do you think? Was that a quick and easy card? Let me know in the comments below. Let me show you the other card I made earlier actually landscape 
and I did put something here at the bottom, but I thought it was too much to put here. But there you have it. Let me know which one you like better, portrait or landscape, in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me today. To order Stampin' Out products, please visit my online store. The website is linked in the description of this video. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Come back again soon. Bye!